You see in the story Jesus stood condemned by the world for loving us. It's an astonishing story. It's a story stronger than any reality you've ever come across. It's changed lives from sadness into glory, glorious light. It's an, ins it's an incredible story. I mean, you can have a uh, excuse the lack of modesty for a moment. A brilliant intellectual young man who knows it all. He knows it all so much that he's even loving and kind because he's a humanist. He cares and he knows it. And that love can turn him round. In spite of all his all his ability to think and reason <laughs> rightly or wrongly, who cares? It's irrelevant. The story can speak into his life. Something of the story. Something of the holiness of the Spirit speaking to him of goodness that he treasures and values. Burst into flowers or whatever you like to call it. Realization that he wants God to exist. Nothing's going to stop him, you see. I choose to believe. Why? Because I want to. It's like what? It's what I want. It's what I want that matters. Nothing else. found I wanted God to be. Mm, well, <laughs> you're on your way, Marshall, aren't you? <laughs> and I was filled with joy. Joy unspeakable, full, full of glory. Being in your presence, oh Lord. How amazing. What was I have to hear this to know where on earth I am? Hang on a sec. Ah, uh, well, better listen to the next uh, recording as well. Thank you, Dad.